हेलो एवरीवन आई एम श्वेता कंप्यूटर साइंस फैकल्टी विद्याश्रम कॉलेज मैसूर इन माय लास्ट सेशन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड एवोल्यूशन ऑफ बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन यूजिंग ट्रूथ टेबल एंड लॉजिक गेट्स हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द ट्रूथ टेबल फॉर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द ट्रूथ टेबल यू हैव टू यूज सम स्टेप्स फर्स्ट वी हैव टू चेक ऑल द इनपुट वैल्यूज एंड फॉर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द इनपुट वैल्यूज वी हैव टू यूज वन सिंपल फॉर्मूला कॉल्ड टू पवर एन If n is equal to two, two power two is equal to four. We will get four possibilities. Next, we have to write the truth values for a given expression. And I have explained logic gates. A gate is an electronic circuit which operates on one or more input signals to produce an output signal. There are three types of logic gates. They are NOT gate. or gate and gate not gate is a gate which has only one input and one output the logical symbol for not gate is x x complement y y complement so not gate is called as complementation and next we have or gate is a gate which has two or more input signals and only one output this gate gives logical addition the logical symbol for or gate is it consists of two inputs and only one output this is equal to a plus b so it gives logical addition and the logical symbol for or and gate is so x is equal to a dot b so and gate gives logical multiplication in today's session i will be discussing boolean postulates and boolean theorems what is this boolean postulates the fundamental laws of the boolean algebra are called as the postulates of boolean algebra boolean algebra is a system of mathematics and consists of fundamental laws these fundamental laws are used to build a workable cohesive framework upon which are based on the theorems of boolean algebra these fundamental laws are known as basic postulates of boolean algebra these postulates are derived from logical and logic operations called as and or not boolean postulates helps to reduce a boolean expression so we have some important postulates in boolean algebra it's related to properties of zero and one so which is the first property if x is not equal to zero then x is equal to zero if x is not is equal to one so x is equal to zero so this is your first boolean postulates so next one it's related to or relation or relation means logical addition 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 we have two input values and only one output value 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 already i have explained in the previous session 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 so logical symbol is 0 plus 0 we have two input values 0 and 0 this is the logical symbol for our operation so we will get 0 only so the output is 0 and the logical symbol for 0 and 1 we will get 1 this is the logical symbol next 1 and 0 logical symbol for 1 plus 0 is 1 and logical symbol for 1 and 1 1 plus 1 is 1 so this is a second boolean postulates so next we have and relation that is logical multiplication 0 dot 0 is equal to 0 logical symbol for 0 dot 0 for and relation is 0 dot 0 is 0 next we have 0 dot 1 0 dot 1 logical relation is 0 and 1 dot 0 is 0 and 1 dot 
is 1. This is about and relation. Next postulate is complement rules. 0 complement is equal to 1 and 1 complement is equal to 0. So, 0 complement is 1 and 1 complement is 0. This is called as complement rules. So, these are the important Boolean postulates. Next, we have principle of duality, duality theorem. The principle of duality in Boolean algebra states that if you have a true Boolean statement or equation, then the dual of this statement or equation is true. The dual of a Boolean statement is found by replacing the statement's symbols. Replacing the statement symbols. This means 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes a 0. And plus becomes a dot and dot becomes a plus. I will repeat changing each or sign. Or sign means it is logical addition plus changes to dot sign. Dot sign means it is and sign. And second statement is and sign that is dot sign changes to or sign that is plus. Plus changes to dot and dot changes to plus. And third statement replacing each 0 by 1 and each 1 by 0. Example for duality theorem, take postulate 2. Postulate 2 already I have explained, it is related to logical addition that is or relation 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 and 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. For this values, I will use duality. Now working according to above relations, plus is changed to dot, plus is changed to dot and 0 changed to 1. Working according to above relations, plus is changed to dot and 0 is replaced by 1s. I will use this statement, 0 changes to 1 and plus changes to dot, 0 changes to 1 and 0 changes to 1. This is your duality for the given values. Next, 0 changes to 1 and plus changes to dot and 1 changes to 0 and 1 changes to 0. This is second value. 1 changes to 0 plus changes to dot and 0 changes to 1, 1 changes to 0. And last one, 1 changes to 0 and 1 changes to 0, 1 changes to 0. This is our principle of duality. You can observe this. These values are nothing but same as the postulate 3 related to logical multiplication. These values are related to postulate 3 that is logical multiplication. This is our logical addition which changes to logical multiplication. This is called as principle of duality. We will be applying the duality principle in the theorems of Boolean algebra. I will give some examples for duality. So, these are the expressions I will convert it into duality. So, first expression is x plus 0 is equal to x. So, plus changes to dot and 0 changes to 1. So, this is called duality. Next expression x plus 1 is equal to 1. So, plus changes to dot, 0 changes to 0, 1 changes to 0. So, next expression is x dot x bar is equal to 0. Dot changes to plus and 0 changes to 1. Next expression is x dot y plus z. Dot changes to plus and plus is replaced by dot. Next expression is x plus x dot y is equal to x plus y plus 2 dot dot to plus and plus changes to dot. This is called as principle of duality. These are the example expressions for duality. Next we have Boolean theorems. Boolean theorems may be used to construct the Boolean algebra expressions. Boolean theorems can be proved by substituting all possible values of the variables that are 0 and 1. This technique of proving theorems is called as 
proof by perfect induction proof by perfect induction boolean theorems can be proved using the truth table also so boolean theorems can be proved by substituting all possible values of the variables that are 0 and 1 so which are the boolean theorems we have to study so first theorem is 0 plus x is equal to x if x is equal to 0 substitute the value of x to this lhs 0 plus x x value is 0 so 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 by or relation so in place of 0 i can write it is x so we got x that is your rhs so 0 plus x is equal to x if x is equal to 1 substitute the value of 1 to this lhs 0 plus x x means this 1 so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 by or relation so we got x in place of 1 you can write it is x so we got 0 plus x is equal to x this is your first theorem so this is the true table for 0 plus x is equal to x we have two input values 0 and x we have to write the output 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 we will get 0 you have to write this in truth values then 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 this is the true table for theorem 1 next we have theorem 2 that is 1 plus x is equal to 1 if x is equal to 0 lhs is equal to 1 plus x substitute the value of x here 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 means it is 1 by or operation so we got the lhs value is 1 if x is equal to 1 then lhs is equal to 1 plus x substitute the value of x here x is equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 is equal to we got the lhs value 1 by r relation so this is your rhs value and this is the true table for second theorem that is 1 x and 1 plus x so 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 is equal to we got 1 and 1 plus 1 we got 1 1 plus 1 we got the final value that is output as 1 so 1 plus x is equal to 1 this is your second theorem next third theorem is 0 dot x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 lhs is 0 dot x substitute the value of x here 0 dot 0 0 dot 0 is 0 only by and relation so we got the value of rhs that is 0 if x is equal to 1 substitute the value of x to this lhs 0 dot x x is equal to 1 and 0 into 1 is 0 by and relation so we got rhs value that is 0 this is the true table for theorem 3 0 dot x is equal to 0 0 dot 0 0 dot 0 is equal to 0 and 0 dot 1 is equal to 0 this is your theorem 3 next we have fourth theorem that is 1 dot x is equal to x if x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 substitute the value of x to this lhs lhs is 1 dot x x changes to 0 1 dot 0 is equal to 0 by and relation so this is your rhs value 0 means it is x so this is your rhs value and if x is equal to 1 if x is equal to 1 substitute the value of x to this lhs value 1 dot x x is equal to 1 means 1 dot 1 1 dot 1 means it is 1 by and relation 1 means it is x you can replace 1 by x so this is your fourth theorem 1 dot x is equal to 1 and this is a true table for 1 dot x is equal to x so 1 dot 0 1 dot 0 we will get 0 and 1 dot 1 we will get 1 so 1 dot x is equal to x this is your fourth theorem next we have item potence law this law states that when a variable is combines with itself using or or and operators 
the output is the same variable that is x plus x is equal to x. If x is equal to 0, substitute the value of x here, LHS is equal to x plus x. So, 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 by R relation. So, 0 plus 0 is equal to we got 0. 0 means you can write it is x. So, this is your theorem fifth that is x plus x is equal to x. If x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1, substitute the value of x to this LHS that is x plus x. x changes to 1 x changes to 1 that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 means you can write it as x. This is your RHS. So, x plus x. So, x plus x is equal to x. This is your fifth theorem. This is the true table for fifth theorem x plus x is equal to x. 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 and 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. You have only two possibilities either 0 or 1. As x is to be odd with itself only. So, this is about your 5 theorems. So, next theorem is x dot x. x dot x is equal to x. If x is equal to 0, LHS is equal to x dot x. Substitute the value of x x means 0. So, 0 dot 0 is equal to 0 by and relation. So, 0 means you can write it as x. This is your theorem 6 x dot x is equal to x. If x is equal to 1, so substitute the value of x to this LHS x dot x. So, 1 dot 1, 1 dot 1 is equal to 1 by and relation. So, 1 means you can write it as x. This is your RHS. So, sixth theorem is x dot x is equal to x. So, in today's session, I have explained only 6 Boolean theorems, but still you have so many theorems to study. In the next session, I will discuss another Boolean theorems. Thank you.